Hello students, welcome to the lecture on introduction to logistic and after this lecture we will be able to learn the following objectives. Describe the concept of logistic, understand the objectives of logistic, define the logistic activities, explain the single window system, define the transportation, explain the warehousing management. Let us first know the meaning of logistic. Logistic is concerned with getting the products and services where they are needed and when they are desired. It is difficult to accomplish any marketing or manufacturing without logistical support. Mission of logistic is providing a means by which customer satisfaction is achieved. Concept of logistic has moved into business to move, lodge and supply inputs and outputs. Meaning of logistic the operating responsibility of logistic is a geographical repositioning of raw materials, work in process and finish inventories where required at the lowest cost possible. The concept of logistic involves the integration of information, transportation, inventory, warehousing, material handling and packaging. Form a definition of logistic. Art of moving, lodging and supplying troops, supplies and equipment is logistic. The formal definition of the word logistic as per the perception of Council of Logistic. Management is a process of planning, implementing and controlling the efficient, effective flow and storage of goods, services and related information from the point of origin to the point of consumption for the purpose of conforming the customer's requirement. Logistic is practiced for ages since organized activity began. Defin logistics to me is everything. Everyone is involved in logistics, whether they know it or not. The room that you're sitting in right now. Yeah. Look Definition of logistic function. Logistic function is concerned with taking products and services where they are needed and when they are needed. Logistic is a process of strategically managing the procurement, movement and storage of materials, parts and finished inventory through the organization and its marketing channels. According to Council of Logistic Management, logistic is a process of planning, implementing and controlling the efficient, effective flow and storage of goods, services and related information from point of origin to the point of consumption for the purpose of confirming the customer requirement. Information Logistic Information Logistic IL as a section of information management deals with the flow of information within an organizational unit or between any numbers of organization that in turn form a value creating network. Logistical management includes the design and administration of system to control the flow of material, work in process and finish inventory to support business unit strategy. Logistic is the designing and managing of a system in order to control the flow of material throughout a corporation. This is a very important part of an international company because of geographical barriers. Concept of logistic is as follows. Logistic equal to inbound logistic plus material management plus physical distribution. Logistic is equal to inbound logistic plus material management plus physical distribution. Logistic is the management of the flow of resources, not only goods between the point of origin and the point of destination in order to meet the requirements of customers or corporation. Important phases of logistic movement management are Material management. The materials management is a timely movement of raw materials, parts and supplies. Physical distribution. The physical distribution is the movement of the firm's finished products to the customers. Supply chain management is somewhat larger than logistic and it links logistic more directly within the user's total communication network and with the firm engineering staff. It includes manufacturer and supplies but also transporter, warehouses, retailers and customers themselves. Goal of logistic. Logistic is the management of the flow of resources, not only goods, between the point of origin and the point of destination in order to meet the requirements of customers or corporation. Let's talk about some objectives of logistic. Operating objectives. In terms of logistical system design and administration, each firm must simultaneously achieve at least six different personal objectives. These operational objectives, which are the primary determinants of logistical performance. Rapid response. Rapid response is concerned with a firm's ability to satisfy customer service requirements in a timely manner. Information technology has increased the capability to postpone logistical 
operation to the latest possible time and then accomplish rapid delivery of required inventory. Minimum variance. Variance is any unexpected event that disrupts system performance. Variance may result from any aspect of logistical operation. Potential reduction of variance relates to both internal and external operation. Operating areas of a logistical system are subject to potential variance. Operating areas of a logistical system are subject to potential variance. The traditional solution to accommodating variance was to establish safety stock inventory or use high cost premium transportation. Minimum inventory. The objective is to reduce inventory deployment to the lowest level consistent with customer service goals to achieve the lowest overall total logistic costs. To achieve the objective of minimum inventory, the logistical system design must control commitment and turn velocity for the entire firm, not merely for each business location. Inventories can provide improved return on investment when they result in economies of scale in manufacturing or procurement. The objective is to reduce and manage inventory to the lowest possible level while simultaneously achieving desired operating objectives. Movement Consolidation Transportation cost is directly related to the type of product, size of shipment and distance. Many logistical systems that feature premium service depend on high speed, small shipment, transportation. As a general rule, the larger the overall shipment and the longer the distance it is transported, the lower the transportation cost per unit. This requires innovative programs to group small shipments for consolidated movement. Such programs must be facilitated by working arrangements that transcend the overall supply chain. Premium transportation is typically high cost. To reduce transportation costs, it is desirable to achieve movement consolidation. Quality improvement. Total Quality Management TQM has become a major commitment throughout all facets of industry. Logistic is a prime part of developing and maintaining continuous TQM improvement. Life cycle support. The final logistical design objective is life cycle support. Few items are sold without some guarantee that the product will perform as advertised over a specific period. Life cycle support in modern terms means cradle to cradle logistical support. The elements of logistic systems are transportation, warehousing, inventory management, Packing and utilization and information and communication. Logistic systems are made up of three main activities order processing, inventory management, and freight transportation. Order processing. Order processing is strictly related to information flows in the logistic system and includes a number of operations. Order processing includes receiving the order, recording the order, filling the order, and assembling all such orders for transportation, etc. Inventory management. Inventory management is a key issue in logistic system planning and operation. Inventories are stockpiles of goods waiting to be manufactured, transported or sold. The aim of inventory management is to determine stock levels in order to minimize total operating costs while satisfying customer service requirements. In practice, a good inventory management policy should take into account five issues. The relative importance of customers, the economic significance of the different products, transportation policies, production process flexibility and competitors policies. Fred transportation. Fred transportation plays a key role in today's economies as it allows production and consumption to take place at locations that are several hundreds or thousands of kilometers away from each other. Development of logistics. Logistic costs became a more critical issue for many organizations because of globalization of industry. This has affected logistics in two primary ways. First, the growth of world-class competitors from other nations has caused organizations to look for new ways to differentiate the organization and product offerings. Second, as organizations increasingly buy and sell offshore, the supply chain between the organization becomes longer, more costly and more complex. The role of logistic in the economy. Logistic play a key role in the economy in two significant ways. First, logistic is of the major expenditure for business. Logistic expenditure accounts for around 15 to 20% of GDP. Logistic and competitive performance. 
It is a process of planning, implementing and controlling the efficient, effective flow and storage of goods, services and related information from point of origin to point of consumption for the purpose of conforming the customer's requirement. Primary activities involve logistic activities associated with receiving, storing and disseminating input to the product, operation, activity associated with transforming input into the final product form, outbound logistic activity associated with collecting, storing and physical distribution of the product to buyers. At this point, why don't you take a look at this video which gives you a quite overview of logistic. You can maximize the benefits to your business from fully utilizing logistics management. Educate staff throughout your business or students in your business class about supply chains and logistics. The job roles listed on your screen indicate the range of people who can benefit from learning about logistics. Your screen shows three flows. They influence the success of your business in its markets and against domestic and international competitors. Improved flows enable a more successful business and increase profitability. Examples of processes to improve flows in your business are time from order receipt until delivery, inventory availability, accounts receivable, and messaging using social media. Logistics is the management of flows shown on your screen. These flows consist of materials, products and services, called items, together with each item's associated flows of money and information. In addition to internal flows, they also occur between your immediate suppliers, your business and immediate customers. Effective logistics links and manages flows. So, logistics is what we do in a business. Logistics is more than words written on the side of many trucks. Trucks and transport are only part of logistics. The objective of logistics is to provide availability of items. If the correct item is not available for customers in the time frame required, efforts of design, operations and sales are worthless. Success for logistics therefore requires involvement with many functions. A supply chain describes flows between source suppliers and end users. This is extended supply chain shown on your screen. The journey commences as materials at the farm or mine, called source suppliers. Materials move through converters and fabricators to your business. Then your items move as finished products to customers. Finally, they move to customers' customers. This could be you, the consumer. The supply chain is the links within and between organizations to provide added value for end users and lowest total cost for suppliers. It is unlikely that your business will have relationships through all links of an extended supply chain. Supply chains is the term used to describe all flows of items, their money and information into, through and out of your business. The diagram shown on your screen is therefore repeated many times. This makes for a complex network of nodes and links. Supply network of your business is highlighted on your screen. It reflects your immediate business relationships. It is contained within your core supply chains. Your supply network is between Tier 1 suppliers and Tier 1 customers plus your contracted logistics service providers, called LSPs. Your screen identifies three types of LSP. Success for your supply network is achieved through collaboration at each critical node and link. Collaboration in your supply network requires cooperation and coordination. Cooperation is people working together across functions and businesses. Coordination is people accessing, sharing and acting on trusted information, that is, using one version of the truth. To achieve collaboration requires performance measures to be aligned with this objective. Remember, we behave how we are measured. The extent of collaboration can be affected by business factors in your supply network. 
These relate to using power and dependency and experiencing uncertainty and risk. Uncertainty can be reduced in your supply network through coordination of information. As noted on your screen, implementing global standards allows data to be effectively gathered and transmitted. By adhering to global standards in your supply network, higher trust in the base data is achieved. The member-owned organization Global Standards 1, known as GS1, provides global standards. It has a membership enrollment structure in your country. In summary, for your supply network to be more effective requires management of flows. This is logistics. Logistics is informed by your supply chains and supply network. To improve your supply network, work towards collaboration within your business and your supply network. The single window system is a trade facilitation idea. As such, the implementation of a single window system enables international cross-border traders to submit regulatory documents at a single location or single entity. A common definition of the term single window is a facility that allows parties involved in trade and transport to lodge standardized information and documents with a single entry point to fulfill all import, export and transit related regulatory requirements. If information is electronic, then individual data elements should only be submitted once. The concept is recognized as promoted by several world organizations that are concerned with trade facilitation. Among these are the United Nations Economic Commission for Europe, UNECE, and its Center for Trade Facilitation and Electronic Business, UN, or CEFACT. World Custom Organization, WCO, SITPRO Limited of the United Kingdom and the Association of Southeast Asian Nations, ASEAN. Transportation is one of the most visible elements of logistic operation. The role of transport in national economy is very crucial. Every business firm, regardless of what it produces or distributes, requires the movement of goods from one point to another and therefore is involved in transportation. The purpose or function of transportation is to serve as a connecting link between the spatially separated units within a firm's own organization, such as between plants and warehouses, and between units of the firms and units of other firms and individuals. The spatial dimension refers to geographical relationship and reflects the combination of firms with respect to their material sources, markets and competitors plus a spatial relationship of the latter to their sources and markets. Transportation utility. The word utility means usefulness or ability to give satisfaction. Place utility exists when goods are in a place where they can be consumed. Thus, transportation is an essential part of the total production process that cannot be overlooked. Transportation in production and marketing. In production, transportation function is looked after by executives of materials management department or general administration department or general department. Model characteristic of transportation. Modes of transportation used in national and international logistic and supply chain management can be grouped under five models. They are rail, highway, water, pipeline and air. Warehousing has become an important part of companies, logistic systems which stores goods at and between the origin and destination points and provides the management with information about the status, disposition and condition of inventories. These logistic inventories can be categorized into three groups, physical supply, raw materials, components and parts, Physical distribution, finished goods, goods in process constitute small portion of total inventories. Warehousing function. Warehousing plays a critical role in logistic system, providing the desired customer service levels in combination with other logistic activities. These can be categorized under three basic functions. Movement, material handling. The movement or material handling function is represented by four primary activities, receiving and put away. This activity includes unloading goods from the transportation equipment as well as verifying their count and specification against order records, inspecting them for damage and updating warehouse inventory records. Finally, the physical movements of products to storage areas, location for specialized services such as consolidation areas 
and outbound shipment places are referred to as pass away activities. Order filling or order picking. This is a fundamental movement activity in warehousing and involves identifying and retrieving products, storage areas according to customer orders. Order filling also includes accumulating, regrouping and packaging the products into customer desired assortments. Moreover, generating packing slips or delivering lists may also take place at this point. Cross-dogging. In this process, receiving products from one source are occasionally consolidated with products from other sources with the same destination and immediately sent to customers without moving to long-term storage. A pure cross-dogging operation only organizes the transfer of materials from inbound receiving dock to the outbound dock, eliminating non-value adding activities such as put away storage and order filling. Shipping. This activity involves physically moving and loading assembled orders onto transportation couriers, checking the content and sequence of orders and updating inventory records. It may also include sorting and packaging the product for specific customers or bracing and packing the items to prevent them from damage. Storage, inventory holding, information transfer. Let's now discuss the types of warehouse. Private warehouse, these are the warehouses owned by the company for the exclusive use of storing the goods manufactured or traded by them for onward selling in the market. Advantages, better control over storage and movement of goods, less chance of errors in handling the goods, customized design and flexibility in operation, cost effective and economic. Public warehouses, these are the warehouses hired from other agencies for storing the goods for a specific period of time by paying a good rent, example Central Warehousing Corporation CWC, advantages, generally located near ports and marketplace and thus has fixed periodic operating costs, great flexibility in location change over, no permanent liability, adjustment as per season are possible. Contract warehouses. It is a specialized form of public warehouses managed by third-party logistic companies for providing total warehousing services by paying the aggregate charges. Advantages. Great flexibility in location changeover. No permanent liability. Adjustment as per season are possible. Availability of expert manpower and dedicated resources. Information monitoring. The physical distribution managers continuously need up-to-date information about inventory, transportation and warehousing, for example, in respect on inventory, information about present stock position at each location, future commitment and replenishment, capabilities and constantly required. Now in the end, let us summarize what we have learned in this lecture. The logistic process plans, implements, controls the flow, the storage of goods, services and related information between the point of origin and the point of consumption to satisfy customer requirements. Logistic involves the interaction with multiple departments within a company as well as now, also across business partner organization and customer. Order processing starts with the receipt of an order from a customer. It may be obtained by a salesperson, be telephoned in or arrived by mail. Logistics play a key role in the economy in two significant ways. First, logistic is of the major expenditure for business. Order processing includes receiving the order, recording the order, filling the order and assembling all such orders for transportation.